Hey, what's up guys? This is my 8th episode of the best Android apps for 2014 and I'm demonstrating this on the Galaxy S5. If you have not been through my previous episode, make sure you do that as you may find a lot of useful apps. I will leave the links in the description. So without any further ado, let's begin the countdown. The first one here is Pushbullet. Pushbullet lets you send free text messages, links and small size files from a phone or a PC to other phones and tablets. It even shows your phone's notification on your computer. Once you download this app, sign in with your Google ID, open pushbullet.com on your computer's browser and register with the same Google ID. And you can also install the app from this website. Install it on your PC to send files directly by right clicking on any file and receive phone notifications right on your computer. On your computer, when you open the Push Bullets website and sign in with your account, you can see the list of devices and friends using this app. And from here, you can quickly send a message, hyperlink, attach any file up to 25 MB, send a list of items, and send a contact detail to anyone or any devices using this app. You also receive a pop-up notification on your PC every time you receive any notification on your device. This feature comes in very handy as you don't have to miss any notification on your phone, even when your phone is not with you. And if you receive notification from social networks like Facebook, you can click on it to directly open that page on your computer's default browser. On your phone, you have a list of all activities between all your devices and friends. To send or say push any message or items, Tap here. On settings, you can choose a notification sound or turn it off, enable disable notification mirroring and so on. So this is somewhat similar to iOS 8 integration with the Mac OS X and comes in quite handy. Next we have is remote mouse. This application lets you use your phone as a wireless mouse or a keyboard for your PC or Mac. Just install this app and install the PC or Mac application from the remotemouse.net. I will also add the link in the description as well. Install it and make sure both the devices are connected to the same network. Open the app on your phone and here you can see the list of the computers that have the remote mouse application and are on the same network. Choose the one that you want to control and as you can see here, the green icon is the trackpad and below that we have the keyboard for our computer. You can scroll with one finger, use two fingers to drag and you can tap with two fingers to bring options. To use the keyboard, just scroll the pointer to wherever you want to type and start typing right from your phone. Or if you want to just use the trackpad, just tap here. Scroll at the top to go to other settings, controls for media and functions can be purchased from Play Store. You have other controls like shutdown, sleep, restart or log off. On settings, we have options for the tracking speed, scrolling speed, click options and so on. So a great app especially for presentations. The next one is gesture call. Basically, you can create your own gesture to call any of your contact. Just launch this app. Add a gesture for any of your contact. Say for example, I want to create a gesture for test and let me create this gesture for this contact. Now, to use the gesture, just launch the app and draw the gesture. And there you go, very simple. And by the way, you can disable this pop-up message as well. So, you can use this app as a speed dial app or for your favorite contacts. You also have additional options like instead of calling, you can enable gestures for SMS from here. And app settings like exit this app after call, different themes, etc. So guys, what I feel here is with the future update, I would like to see a dialer integrated with this app, which will make this app a perfect phone app.
The next one is 3D Anatomy Learning. This app is very useful, especially for those who are into medical studies or are interested in general anatomy. Over here, you have different sections like muscles of the head and neck, bones, vessels, digestive systems, etc. Let's go into the digestive system and select this topic. Once you select the topic that you want to study, it will start rendering the 3D image. So this is a very high quality 3D image. You have 360 degree rotating options and you can tap onto the area for its name. As you can see here. Similarly, you can do this for other categories as well. Might come very handy for a lot of medical students. You can explain to people about any organ in a much detailed manner, so thought of including this app in the list. The next one is Knocker Beta. You probably know the double tap to wake feature on STC M8, LG G3 and a lot of other devices, where you can input various gestures while your device is locked to perform various actions. But this feature is missing on a lot of Android devices like the S5, Nexus 5 and so on. So this app kind of brings those features. This app is in the beta phase and might not work perfectly with all the devices but for me it worked fine. Hopefully with the future update we will have a fully working knocker app. So you can launch this app to give in your actions for this command like double tap to unlock Similarly, you can give in your actions for swipe left, swipe right, etc. You have additional gestures here, but this was not working fine as of now. And next, we have the settings menu. So nothing much here, quite a useful app if all the bugs are fixed. This app is worth mentioning because you can control your device with gesture even if your phone manufacturer doesn't provide it. The next one here is Audico Ringtones. This is an app that brings custom ringtones from famous songs. And with this app, you can also create your own ringtones from a song that is on your device. Over here, we have five different tabs like Featured, Popular, My Ringtones, which is the ringtones you've created. And you also have Create Ringtone and Genres tab. Create Ringtones lets you create ringtones from the songs in your library. Let me show you how it's done. Select a song from your favorite artist and then drag this slider for the timing of the ringtone and slide here for the part of the song you want as a ringtone. Then you can give fade in and fade out effect from here which will provide a nice touch to your custom ringtone and you can preview it from here. After the editing, hit done which will save this file on your phone storage inside Audico folder. So if you want a part of your favorite song as a ringtone, you can do that with this app. The next one is Retrica. The very famous fancy camera app from iOS is finally available for Android as well. With this app, you can shoot the pictures with various filters before taking the pictures. When you start this app, you get a camera UI with a lot of options for taking pictures. You can choose filters by tapping here and this app also offers a huge range of filters. You can set the filters on random if you don't like choosing every single filter to see how it looks. And we have various options like collage, that is, you can take a picture and convert it into collage mode right away, like this. You can also choose various dimensions for the collage pictures. You can darken the corners of the pictures, give a blur effect to your pictures, choose width and color and also give a timer to take a picture. So, a fancy app for taking pictures with variety of effects and functions. Very handy for those who love to give effects to their pictures. Next one here is Appy Geek and Appy Gamer. Appy Geek is a great app that brings you top tech news from the internet according to the categories you have chosen. It brings top tech news, applications, 
tech videos and many more. Simply launch the application and here you can see the different tabs based on categories. At the top, you have this tab showing top stories, all news tab and news depending on your moods. You also have the top videos and photos and below that you have tabs based on the categories you have chosen. Sliding to the right will bring you the one feed. That is the most important articles from all your topics in one place. You can make a search, create your own news profile from here and tap here to rearrange your home screen or reset them. And also save any news or articles for offline readings and to go to the settings. On settings, you can customize the app by choosing display mode, content providers, etc. We also have a similar application from the same developer called Appy Gamer, which is just the same like Appy Geek, but this application brings top news related to games. and we get a variety of widgets from both of these applications to stay updated on news right from your home screen. Next is the Buzz Launcher. Buzz Launcher is another way to customize your Android device. This launcher is very minimal and uses very less resources, meaning this launcher runs on the low-end devices as well. Once you install this launcher, you get a very stylish looking home screen with these icons. Dock with transparent icons, these widgets which can be downloaded from the Play Store. You can swipe down to bring down the notification center and swipe up for app drawer. Another cool feature of this launcher is that it comes with its own store for themes. You can download from its huge collection and most of the themes are free. Let me just give you a quick demo. There you see. You can double tap or swipe down with two fingers from any part of the home screen to view quick settings. On quick settings, you can jump to app drawer, change your wallpaper, adjust your home screen pages, etc. So let's move on to app drawer. We have this slider menu on the left for our bus profile and our buzz contents, our home packs or say themes, icons and wallpapers. Moving on to the launcher settings, here we have settings for gesture that is you can create your own gesture to perform any action or launch any app. Backup and restore the settings of this launcher and other advanced options for this launcher as well. Last one for today's episode is the Google Sheets and Google Docs. Google Sheets lets you create spreadsheet files and save them on your device as well as on the cloud services from Google. It even shows you the spreadsheet files that are saved on your cloud storages. Once you start this app, you get a list of spreadsheet files saved on your device and in the side, we get this slider menu with options like files on this device, app settings, etc. And from here, you can make a search and also load files from Google Drive. And as you load the file, you get a spreadsheet file and to edit any tabs, tap on the tab you want to edit and tap here to input text or formula. You can use all the formulas that you use with other spreadsheet applications like Microsoft Excel. You can pinch in and pinch out to zoom in and out of the spreadsheet file. You can edit the cell and change font by tapping here. Undo, redo from here. You have bold, italics, underline, color options as well. You can tap here for options for your file, like you can save them on the device and also check the list of people who can access these files, plus you can add people. So this feature is very useful especially for works when you need to share files with multiple people. And over here, you have your additional options to send, rename and print wirelessly. You also have a similar app from Google called Docs, which is a word processing app with similar functionality like that of Microsoft Word. 
It lets you create and manage Word documents. So two office apps from Google that comes handy at times. So that's a wrap guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and you guys have a great time.